Hello everyone, this is Hemin and welcome to another new video. It is Wednesday morning. The marketing course is actually finishing this week. So I have much time to concentrate on my art and creating something. So I thought it would be good to start another vlog. I really wish to improve the quality of the content, this video content. So I want to spend much more time to editing videos and share a little bit of my art techniques and experiment. So today I'm actually going to start filming another video at the same time, which is how I illustrate in Procreate. On Instagram and YouTube, I've been asked a very frequent question. That is what brushes I'm using. So in the video, I'm going to share a little bit of my art techniques. I've been thinking about this type of video for many years and I wasn't sure if I really really want to share I mainly wasn't sure whether it is good to share my art process and art techniques through YouTube videos because I feel every day I feel scared of like if anyone copy my art style and pretending like their original art pieces. To find my current art style, it took a while. I believe it took almost three years since I started my branding. Still, I'm trying to develop my art style while experimenting many different art pieces in different colors while I was trying to grow my art account on Instagram. So many weird people have reached out to me to ask if they could use my art for their business or to grow their community when I found the post by accident it critically hurted my heart anyway the video that I'm going to film will be a separated video so if you are interested please check out the video after watching this video in this video I'm going to share the behind the scene alright so this is how I set up my equipment to film a kind of draw me video I wish my thumbnail looks like greenery, so I took this fairy light from the bookshelf. I'm gonna record the audio with this microphone, and this microphone has to be attached to my computer, so I brought them here. And this is how I set up my tripod. This tripod sometimes stands on the ground, or dirt, or this floor. So I'm afraid to make our dining table accidentally get dirty. So I put I put the kitchen towel underneath of each stand. Last night I wrote some notes in my phone. I don't want to make it like a tutorial but kinda of draw it with me or paint it with me. I really hope this video can help anyone who wants to learn art as a hobby. Okay, so now I'm gonna start to film this video and I hope this video turns out well. morning around 10 a.m. Today we are going to Hando where I really really love in South Australia. I always go there whenever I feel like I want to treat myself because it is a very very pretty place where it doesn't look like a dry spot. I went there several months ago, I think it was around April or May and at the time it was autumn so it was really really pretty yellow and red. Right now in Australia we are having spring. Oh by the way today it is November, 27th of November. So spring is ending really really soon and, and the summer will start really really soon. So it should be very very greenery in Handoff and I feel really really excited to go back to the place again. Also I am thinking of getting some new art supplies as well, mainly for sketching or drawing supplies because I feel like I want to practice more of 
doodles with classic traditional pen so basically that's my plan for today while I was talking I actually kept looking this plant because this plant has grown really really quick and it's leaning like this so I feel like this plant should move another plant pot and one of the roots is exposed I feel like this plant should move another plant pot really really soon we don't have a soil but I don't think we are getting soil today so I hope this plant is okay until we get some soil actually visited two art supply stores one is called painting box in Handoff and the other one is called art to art the painting box is a absolutely lovely and cozy art supply store but I couldn't find everything I was looking for so from the painting box I got these three color pencils the main reason why I got these particular colors is I wanted to find some colors that reminded me of my current art style and I thought these colors really look connected to my illustration work and from art to art I got these two brush pen I really like these soft pastel colors I'm gonna use it for adding colors when I draw some doodles also I got a new journal sketchbook it is the double size of the previous sketchbook I want to create really satisfying pages with pen drawings this is the previous sketchbook that I was using and I actually haven't finished it yet while I was using this sketchbook I realized I prefer bigger size of paper 
So I'm very excited to start a new sketchbook and also I'm very excited to show what I'm going to draw in the future videos. Oh by the way, I also got a very cute thing before we left the handoff. It is not an art supply but it is a mini Christmassy decoration which is this little Santa mousse. I love mousse very very much. It actually reminds me of my nostalgic memories when I was in Canada. Hi everyone, it is the next day and I was writing my notes about the video that I was filming on the last Wednesday. At the time, I was trying to uh, talk and draw at the same time. But while I was editing the videos, I found out my English wasn't really working. So during the morning, I recorded some audio to replace some parts. It is currently 12.42. I didn't have a lunch yet, so I'm gonna go to make a lunch for myself and Lucky and I'll catch you guys later. It is Monday morning. Today we have a blueberry light in the background. We just got it last weekend to make our place like wintery Christmassy vibe. We also purchased the Christmas tree and some blue Christmas decorations from IKEA several weeks ago and it was the first time to buy Christmas decoration in our life. They should come tomorrow. I feel super excited to make a tree. I've always preferred seeing warm tone like yellow, orange Christmas lights or decorations because they look super cozy and wholesome and cottage core vibe. But this time we want to go different directions. So we are going to make an icy, cold, chill, blue Christmas vibe in our place. It actually never snowed in Adelaide and summer will officially start in two days. So I hope this decoration makes us feel like we are in winter. It is currently 10.48. And I'm gonna go to the post office quickly before it gets warmer because I need to send the new orders. And then I'm gonna draw some Christmas art in Procreate. Also, I want to think about how I can celebrate on Instagram because my page, my Instagram page is currently sitting 11,000 followers. We made a milestone in the morning or when I was sleeping. My last celebration was when it made 4,000 followers. I think it was around July or August. I've never imagined that this sudden growth would happen in my life in a few months. I feel very lucky and very grateful and I feel extremely appreciate everyone who supported my art. It is 11.07, I really should go right now. I shut the old blinds but I feel like it's getting warm here. Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Bye!
I was doing for the wallpaper and I put the same fairy lights here like a last time because I thought it looked pretty so to celebrate the 11k milestone I'm thinking of offering two Christmassy phone wallpapers through Instagram stories. So if you're interested, please check out my Instagram story to screenshot. Mm -hmm.